back. It's time for us to have a conversation about the rich heritage of Gandangui fashion traditions. Now, I've been joined by Nathaniel Nuno, who is the CEO of Nuna Couture. And he's going to help us to get into this conversation this morning. Good morning, Nat. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yourself? But, yeah, well, thank you. It's yeah. good to have you here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right, so um, let's just talk broadly about uh, Gadangbe fashion traditions. Just sort of give us a sense of um, what you will find typically in maybe different festivals, different occasions. You can just sort of walk us through for those who are not, who don't know about the traditions and maybe are not even Gadangbe, but are fascinated with some of the colors they see. What do they mean? You know, there's some of the headgear. What do they mean? All those kinds of things. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what, what I say, we, as in the Ghana, because I'm, I'm actually a Ghana, mm. uh, came from a very long place, like a far place. So, yeah. we have uh, indigenous from the Israel, okay. Nigeria, Togo, mm. Egypt, mm. the Goshen. So, I always as like a very diverse okay. thing. So we pick a lot from many, many places. places and many cities, mm. many countries. Yeah, so like we should, like we, we, we will start with, let's say, the typical uh, gun, gun lady. Okay. All right. Uh, on a normal day, they will put on, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, they, they will put on like a white uh, garment. Okay. All right. Mostly we just mm. throw on uh, the wrap around mm. holds it on the upper part with a rope okay. so that it doesn't come it doesn't off, fall off. Okay. yeah and hold it on the waistline mm. to get the shape yeah ah. as an african lady okay yeah uh mostly they put on white mm. yeah on a normal day as i said uh they will put the nya -nya, the okay. green leaf okay yes yeah. on their head mm. all right then we also have the bees for the normal lady yeah uh, the bees are mostly put on place on the wrists. Okay. The so we are seeing some images there. Yes. With uh, beautiful women clad clad with the nyanyura. Yes. Um, around the neck uh, with the headgear, yes. the scarf. Yeah. And then the beads. Yeah. So th this one I'm seeing them. You, I think are white beads. Oh, there's a mix. There's some there, colored beads there, as well. There is going to be a mix. Mm. This this will be. Uh, like an event okay. is proud to the Omawa festival. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you you're gonna get people wearing these uh, mm. garments and uh, the headgear, the nyanya, and uh, the the bees on their wrist, yes. their ankle, their knee. Mm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So the wear beads. Okay. So I'm I'm fascinated by this because it looks like from part of our history we've worn beads on our ankles i'm just wondering why now that i mean these days in in a mod modern culture you would find people casting slurs and accusations if they see a lady wearing a bl bracelet on her ankle but this is something we've always done yeah uh, so uh when when it comes to that, it mm. depends on what you are actually wearing. Okay. All right. Uh, like the typical uh, Af African mm. has a little bit of fetish in whatever they do. Mm. So it depends on the size of the beads. Okay. Yeah. It depends because we don't do like the norm the anklets as in like a the, gold the, the, okay. or these thin thin mm. ones. All right. So. The car lady will put on a big one. Yeah. Especially even with the with the uh, men. Yeah. They they still wear. That. Oh, the men also wear it. Yeah. On the an on the yeah. ankle. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, so as big as this. Yes. It, it depends on mm. uh, what what uh, class you are, the okay. tribe you come from, okay. and uh, what you actually do. Mm. Because uh, the normal person will not put it on, mm. but they are. Asafache might, okay. or Asafache will, okay. the Shipi Manche will, okay. uh, the king actually, the chief will mm. also put it on. Mm. Uh, what level of chief is the Shipi Manche? Uh, the Shipi Manche is, supposed, is, uh, is the one that installs or picks okay. up the uh, king. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The Asafache mm. is uh, the, the warrior. The warrior. Yeah. So they, they all fall in 
like one or the other. Mm. I, I would not say, but definitely like they are all the the, the chief is the superior. Yeah. Yeah. So they are all beneath the chief. Mm. Yes. But they are all given the yeah. same with like a, yeah. a huge amount yeah. of respect. So who are we looking at here? Which level of chief is this? This is the this is the manche. This is this is the chief. This is the, yeah, manche, this is the top chief. chief yes. Uh, okay. and, and this this is like an occasion. Okay. Uh, mostly you will see. Uh, the typical gown will not put on too much of color. Okay. Yeah, they okay. go to the, the white. More plain. Yeah, so more plain. Yeah, the white. So the monochrome. Okay. So you have the white and black yeah. or the red and the black. Ah, yeah, so okay. it depends on the derba, how okay. big the event is, okay. before you go to see um, okay. more colors like this. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so give us a sense of what sort of event this would have been. I mean, we can't tell from here. But we also see the national chief imam in the in, in the picture there. I'm assuming there's a national chief imam yeah. in the picture. Yeah. So uh, I, I think this would be a national event. Probably a national yeah, event. Yeah, but uh, maybe hosted by the guard chief. Okay. Looking at uh, yes. his uh, uh, seat. Mm. Yeah, because mm. like his seat dominates the rest. Okay. Yeah, so looking at that, it's, it's going to be a national event, mm. but mm. it's going to be hosted by, by him. By him, yes. yeah. Okay, okay. So, so the other, so the other prominent people there are his guests in, yes. the, in this yes. in this event. Yeah. Okay, and, and sharing the yeah. same, uh, same, same place with them. With yeah, platform, yeah. Okay, that's that's a beautiful uh, outfit, though. Yeah, yeah it really is. Beautiful outfit. Okay, so when we look at the um, before you go to some of the other uh, fashion dresses, uh, fashion outfits, um, when you look at the Gandam Gandambi peoples. Do you find that the fashion sense is the same across all the different clans or the different groupings? Yes, it, it is. Because uh, like when you pick people from the Osu, mm. and you go to like the Lanteja way, mm. uh, the the Asherian, the Abolis, mm. like everybody might have but like we all put on the same mm, garment mm. all right so there is the red that goes yes. throughout everything yes. it depends on the uh, occasion, occasion the yeah. whites the monochrome goes mm. through the same mm. special events mm. you will put on uh, the colorful garment yeah sometimes they throw on the uh, the smoke mm. we we don't really have like the typical colorful smoke as okay. the Ashanti is okay. Yeah, so ours is more like the plain mm. with a little bit of patches mm. and uh, heads of uh, okay. animals that you killed. So that's like the Asafwaches yeah, uh, garment. garment. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, I see. But generally, it's, it's, it's across. Mm. Yeah, it's across. Mm. Okay, okay. So we talked about the women, typical women's. Um, outfit what else do we have we have us let's talk about the asafwache okay so the ah there we have okay. it okay. so uh this this i think uh this i shot 2017 okay as the okay so the Omo festival okay so this is a this is a homo festival yeah this, okay. this is the Omo festival okay at the okay that's interesting uh cemetery okay yeah Okay, so uh, the thing I think that for me, maybe I haven't noticed, but I have not. I don't remember ever seeing the red. But talk for you talking about it and then seeing this, I'm actually seeing, you know, how prominent red actually pl mm -hmm. the, the yeah. role red plays yes, it in does. the fashion color sense. Yes, you it know. does. Um, I, I I think I've noticed the white as predominant, but okay. I haven't really taken note of the red. So uh, the white, I would say, goes to uh, joyful things. Mm. Yeah, uh, puberty. Okay. Uh, the childbirth. Okay. Ceremony, okay. something that uh, is, is very joyful, mm. merry making. Mm. All right. But when when it comes to the the, the red like mm. we mean seriousness yeah okay war okay uh okay something that mm. like is off the normal yeah. thing that we normally okay. do okay yeah that's when you see the red so okay. this this is the event mm. the more event okay yeah that's the 
Asher Manche in okay. the middle with the Nanyura uh, on the neck. Okay. They are on their way to the cemetery, cemetery to go and give the Kwekure mm. and to the gods. Okay. Yeah. Help, help me understand that a little bit better. Uh, being an Akan and having a very poor sense of <laughs> of God traditions. Um, so is, is it typical and customary that as part of the festival you go to the cemetery? Yeah, you need to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you like we we have to give homage to the, the ancestors. Their ancestors. Okay. So that's the main thing. Okay. Uh, try to please their souls mm. to tell them that okay, mm. uh, this events that we're trying to do, mm. uh, they should give us the grace to okay. be able to cross the new year. So from next year to next year to next mm. year, we will come and mm. visit them. Mm. On a normal day, yes, they do go, okay. but this is the time that they prepare the food okay. and uh, give it to them. Okay. Yes. Wow. wow. No, so I, I, I'm, I'm fascinated by this. I'm looking at the different um, outfits that we're seeing there. So this, this, this particular event, um, where they're going to the cemetery, who and who will be in the in the company typically as they're going. So, so I, I saw the chief there. Yeah. I saw um, someone who looked like um, an Asafwache in there. Who who else would be in the company? So it's basically like most times the heads. Yeah. Okay. But everybody's welcome. Okay. Yeah. The the whole mm. uh, community is welcome. Okay. But it's. From, so from the chief, mm. the Asafwa chair, the Sifi man chair, okay. uh, Nahe, the Wulome, okay. everybody uh, will be part of this. Because okay. this is the only time, mm. the main day that we get to uh, see and interact with the, the uh, uh, ancestors. Uh, ancestors. Okay. So everybody is welcome. Mm. The whole community is welcome. Mm. Yeah. So that's, that's how it is. Okay. Okay. Wow. I know that some of these ceremonies in in um, other cultures they prevent the ordinary lay people from going beyond a certain point. Do you have anything like that, or anybody can also go in there uh, as well? It, it, with 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 the Omoa, is is open to everybody. Everybody. Yeah, because uh, let's say it starts from the uh, like Thursday or Friday, the parading of the twins mm. so the what the twins who tell me about that <laughs> <laughs> all right so tell me about that. Prou proud to the omo yeah uh like the twins in the community mm. yeah uh paraded so all twins uh or they bring out as many twins as possible yes, as many oh, twins wow. that are like really really like in indigenous okay yes sometimes uh the the gods mm. try to interact with them, so they they are possessed. They Ooh. they talk anyhow, they move anyhow, so Ooh. they are guided. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, so with the parade, it goes through the uh, the community. Okay. People throw money to them. Okay. Uh, for for them to be like because they they will be going to uh, the riverside. Mm. So people give them money mm. to go and talk to the ancestors on, on their, their behalf, behalf yeah. that believe that's the belief. I see. So that's what happens. Why twins specifically though? Was there a reason why the parading of the twins became an important thing? Uh, as, as like everybody is special, mm. right? Mm. But to, to give twins back to is, twins. Twins is actually unique. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. very unique. Okay, so I, that's, I guess that's, that's the, 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 main, okay. the main thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. because uh, it's, it's most like Difficult to mm. uh, be able to carry two yeah. two people, okay. two babies in the same. I guess room. that's where the significance yeah. of it would come yeah. from. Yeah, and to thank the uh, their ancestors for giving okay. you uh, such a blessing. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. So, what what else can we can we learn about either festivals or um, unique fashion dresses in the sense? So, uh, with with the cars, we. <laughs> Like it's, it's it's a huge uh, fa fashion thing mm. that you're gonna get from. Mm. All right, uh, we starting from the garment, the monochrome, mm. and putting on the bees. Yeah. there. like every uh, every uh, ethnic group has, but ours is 
totally different, mm. especially with the smearing of the uh, the mud. Okay. The on on the, on the forehead, forehead yeah. the on the arms. the biceps and the triceps yeah. and the knee. Yeah. Ours is different. The Ashantis we use black. We use the mud. The Ailo. Okay. Yes. Uh, <coughs> so, so it's like a white clay. Yeah, white, a white clay. clay. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we do. Mm. It's totally different from like okay. most of the Ghana yeah. try to take that. Mm. That's what I'll say will be something unique. Mm. Uh, when it comes to the uh, Asapocha garments, I think it's something that is common to almost all the ethnic groups mm. because of uh, what the, the uh, individual wears, the warrior wears. Yeah. It's mostly true because uh, it has the mirror, it has mm. the heads of the animals yeah. that they kill. Do you, do you know the significance of those things? <laughs> no, no, not all. Yeah. Yes, some. <laughs> so, so I wore something like this yesterday, you know, and um, people were asking me if, well, I didn't wear the entire headgear, but, <laughs> you know, the, 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 the uh, garment itself. Yeah. Um, people were asking if I knew what, it, what the different things meant. I don't know if you know what any of those things actually mean. Uh, I, 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 I know represent. some. Yeah, so yeah because share with us what you Yeah, mean. let's, let's uh, put the, the modern... Mm -hmm. uh, general okay. in, 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 in perspective then okay. we move to this okay so the morning general has gone to three or four wars yes and each every, every war has uh his small yes. thingy that yes. he put yes so the more war the more qualification that you have you have that mm. so it's the same as ours so you have a plain garment mm. maybe you have about two or three stars now let me say three or three things that you placed in so you've how many wars have you gone? You go for four wars. Okay. You, you, you've been victorious. Mm. So you, you, you're still going to put a lot of stuff in. Yeah. Uh, most uh, stuff to show you, yeah, mm. you have the mirror to be able to, let's say, reflect okay. or something. You have uh, most, most big things that will hold where your heart is. Okay. So that, like, okay. it's, it's, it's like a, an, an armor. Yes. So, yeah. like, yesterday's own, for example, that I wore, there was a turtle shell, okay. the tortoise shell in yeah. the in the middle, you know, the hard back of the tortoise. Yeah. So I I guess that's what that's what it is. Yeah. You know, it's like a almost like a bulletproof kind of yeah, kind thing of. for yes. protection. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. So the like the more wars or the more events you yeah. go, that's what you, you're you gonna add. Get. You add yeah. more things so, to your regalia. Yes. Fantastic. More stars. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that. Well, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate this.